Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will have an overview of Zap application. Moving on to our first option that is file, you can find the options like new session. You can start a new session from here or you can open the previously saved session or by using the persist session, you can save the current running session. Inside the edit, you will find zap mode which contains different type of modes like safe mode protect mode standard mode attack modes you can try on different web applications while you are testing it moving on to the view you will find show tab option you can add different type of tabs from here which will appear here like if i will click on the Fuzzer tab, you can see the fuzzer tab has been added over here. If you want to view all the tabs, you can simply click on the show all tabs and you will find all the tabs are listed here. Like Edge Spider, Spider, Active Scan, and so on. Moving on to the RIP Analyze, you will find the Scan Policy Manager here. If you click on the scan policy manager, you will find that there is a default policy. But you can customize your policy, scan policy, where you can set the different type of parameters like threshold, strength, and quality of the vulnerability scanning while you are conducting an automated scan on web application. You can save this scan policy for using it on different web applications. Moving on to the report, you will find different options here like generate HTML reports, XML reports, markdown, creation reports, and much more options. Inside the tools, you will find different type of tools like Fuzz, Edge Spider, Spider, Active Scan encoder decoder hash and so on if you look at here you will find different type of tab views which you can set depending on uh, which type of tab you prefer like this one this is the default one and this one now if we talk about the pop shoot marketplace from where we can add the additional add-ons just like that zap also has a marketplace from where you can add additional add-ons if you click on this you will find this three color option just click on that and you will find this pop-up will appear you will find two tabs over here that is installed and marketplace inside the install you will find the add-ons which are already installed on this application inside the marketplace you will find the add-ons which are available for you and you can add add or install it to your application like we have the weaponizer option here simply tick mark that and click on install As you can see, our installation has been completed. Click on the install and you can find the Weaponizer add-on has been successfully added. You can find this tab inside the view and the show tab that we have. This Weaponizer tab has been added here. If you click, this tab will appear here. So this was the quick overview of the application.